Hey mamas, it's Sarah here, your life and weight loss coach. And today I want to give you a super quick tool to use when you are feeling overwhelmed. This is going to take you literally like five minutes. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is grab a few pens. If you're a pen junkie like me, you always have so many, and then a piece of paper. Now, what I want to tell you is there are so many different ways that you can coach yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed. And I was reminded of this tool just the other day I was in the sauna and I was like feeling a little stressed and crazy. And I was like, I need to journal. And I literally was just looking at my paper and I was like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to write. Like, and so if you are in that kind of headspace where, you know, if I've taught you to do the model or a life wheel or all these other things, and you're just like, I got nothing, Sarah, I'm sorry. This is something that you can do that actually works really well with your brain. So it's going to look a little bit like a metacog, which I don't know if you're familiar with that at all. It's just a different way of writing on paper. It kind of goes with how your brain is wired, just the science is out there. So what you're going to do is when you're feeling overwhelmed, I would like you to get a piece of paper and you're going to write your name in the center of the piece of paper. And then you are going to circle your name. Okay. And the reason why this isn't all beautiful and perfect is I want you to know that it doesn't need to be perfect. I know some of you get caught up in, okay, like how exactly does it look? And I want it to look nice. Just know that if you want it perfect, like I actually just got off a call with a client who did this and she's like, I'm going to redo mine so that it is perfect. Cause she actually wants to post it so that she can see what her priorities are and what's going on. This was some of the stuff that came up for me when I did mine the other day. So just write your name, put a circle around it. And then I want you to, on the first row out from your circle, you can do this in a different color if you want. You can get super creative. There are no rules here. I know some of you like rules. I actually like rules, believe it or not. You're gonna write out the different things that are kind of like taking up a bunch of your brain space, right? So for example, here are a few ideas. Um, I put my transplant, I'm having a kidney transplant in like two months, um, the house. Cito, that's my husband. It's my name for him. Um, the boys, my business and my clients, that's one circle for me and my body. Like, how do I take care of my health? Um, my client, I think she kind of had similar, oh, she's homeschooling. She had her hubby. She had Jesus. She had, um, what is another couple of categories? her health as well. I don't know. So generally just whatever it is that comes up for you. And you're like, yep, this is all that's on my plate. It could be work. It could be your friends, it could be community, it could be family, maybe you care for a family member, it could be your pet that you need to take care of, put it all on there, right? So you can pause the video and then go do that. And then from there, what I want you to do is take each one of those circles. So for instance, this is my house circle. A few of the things that I wrote off of that were, I wanna organize my closet and my bathroom, laundry is always a thing, and then I just need to get the meals system kind of organized, right? School just started. So we're kind of in that shift as a mom of the seasons and sports and all of that. So I need to just take a minute and just process how that's all going down. I also want to show you. So for example, so I did that with like more bubbles coming out after I was like, oh, I wish I would have done that in a separate color after it's all right. Or I thought for this example, you could just make a list and kind of like go down from there. So that's just an example. You could do bubbles, you could do a list, you could do squares, whatever you want for there. So then pause this and I want you to take a minute. So, you know, for example, for me, for my boys, I wrote, they have school, they've got sports, they've got friends, I've got carpool, we've got lunches, they've got chores. These are all the different things that are in my head. And so for each item, I want you to do that. And one of the things that I think is so powerful about this that you'll realize is that this is this is all that's going on in your head, right? So energetically as a mom, this is what is like on your plate at the same time. So I think really this is just helping you get clear. And all of a sudden I just was like, oh yeah. So then the next step that I want you to do is there's two different ways you could do this. Like I told my client, my husband always uses, you know, you can look at this list and be like, okay, do what do I need to just do? Just get it done. Just put it on the calendar and get it done and get out of my head about it and make it happen. Delegate, delay, or delete. Like, is there stuff on here that you're actually like stressing yourself out about that really you're like, you know what? It doesn't matter. And you can do this based on a time frame, right? So say some, there is something that you would delete for now, but that you wouldn't actually delete like for the long haul for your life. Does that make sense? So like 
I could say, um, like what's it? like Instagram for me right now. That's on one of my business to do's. I haven't been showing up on Instagram, but right now, when I look at everything that's going on in my life, my priority are my current clients, my kids, my husband's building his business. So he's got like a whole, like huge thing going on in his world. So I'm kind of more like shifted my center of where my energy goes. Right. So for right now, I'm okay with letting that one kind of like get off the thing, but forever, no, I'm not going to like not go back on Instagram, like to when I'm ready to get more clients and stuff. So you can kind of do that. The version that I like, that's one way that you can do this. So I'm giving you two options, right? The do delete, delegate, delay. That's my husband's words for it. Every, you know, there's a few different people out there that have different things like that, or you can do what I did. You can take a different colored marker. And I highlighted the things that I feel like for me were, are the most pressing that if I were to do these, that it would really just kind of like check off it, it'd make the check off a lot when it comes to my brain, <laughs> you know, you can also do like what I teach you with a life wheel. Just first, before you do all that, just take a look at it and just be like, yeah, okay, this is what's going on. So for me, the things that stood out the most were like, I need to book a hotel. I have an appointment at UCLA on the 4th of October. If I could just do that, that's like something that's been looming in the back of my mind. Just go and do it. Um, organize my closet and my bathroom. I really want to do that before my transplant. I'll have people living in my house while I'm gone for a bit. Um, the boys and the chore sitch. This chore sitch is not working for me. Like this house right now, like this is my like office space, but the boys have been using that part of the room and it's kind of a mess and it's not okay. It doesn't work well for me to also have this be my office space. So that's something that I need to follow up. We need to have a family meeting about and kind of get back on track. I've been a little gracious because the first couple weeks of school, right? And so everyone's schedules have just shifted, but we need to get back on track. So this works for everybody in the family, right? And then for my business, I underlined, I have two blog posts that have been sitting there for a while that I need to just upload, get it out, make some Pinterest pins, and then I'm good with that. Knowing that all of a sudden I just was like, oh, like I don't have to do everything in the world. And it felt so good. So for you, identify what are the most pressing things. If it simply is things that you just need to check off and get done, like mine are more really, really practical, like just do, just check off, right? Like, but say I was to pick up the one, um, I don't know, like laundry. Laundry, sure, I could do it, but it's going to be a repeating thing all the time. Even chores is a constant repeating thing. That's like a little bit more, it's, it takes a little bit of time to work on that. And so just know that that's okay. What you can do is you can analyze, like I mentioned early, ac earlier, according to the season that you're in. So like, you know, for me, I might be like, okay, in this season, that's kind of what I did with the Instagram. Like these next two weeks, I'm not worried about showing up on Instagram or not. I'm worried about showing up for my clients. I'm worried about getting my blog posts. I'm worried about getting the boys chore system back in place. Um, doing a few other things that are on this list that are a higher priority to me, you get to do the same for you. And so say, even with the client that I just got off the, the call with, um, for her, it was like, okay, what do I need to do now? Like one of her bubbles, oh, it was actually stress. Cause she's like, I'm actually feeling pretty stressed, but we were able to link which one of these other bubbles was causing the most stress. And then we created a plan for that bubble. Right. And one of it was the house needing to organize the house. Right. And so how do you show up for your future self today? Right. Like for her, I was like, imagine going into the holidays before you bust out all of the like Christmas stuff, knowing that you've actually organized the kid's closet, that you've gone through some of this stuff and you've decluttered. And then once you declutter, you also have less to keep up with, right? Which as a mom, sorry, my throat's a little sore because I just got off that call. I always feel like I'm decluttering because there's always more stuff. There's always more clothes. There's always school stuff coming in this house. So it could look as simple as, hey, I'm just going to, you know, set a timer and once a month, the first Monday of the month, I'm going to just take 30 minutes and I'm just going to take a trash bag through the house. Like whatever works for you, right? Like, so that's so much of when I work with people is that like, this has to work for you, right? It's my same philosophy when it comes to weight loss with all my clients that are trying to lose weight. If this isn't sustainable for you for the long haul, it's not going to work, right? And the same goes for your life. Different things are going to be a priority, priority to you that might not be important to me. And there's no judgment in that. Like you get to decide how you want to feel as a woman, as a mom, as a 
business owner, if you own your business as a worker, as an employee, whatever it is, you get to decide that for you. So I hope this was helpful. I don't know even what to call this. It's just, I mean, it's a version of a life wheel, really. Like we could have just made little, you know, things and each thing has its category. But for whatever reason, our brains sometimes like to do this. And sometimes you can just tap in to something a little bit differently. What you could do from here is you could use the model, which I've taught you, which is from Brooke Castillo's work that I love so much of the life coach school, you know, where you take this and it's like, okay, figure out your thoughts. Why aren't you, why aren't you taking action? Where could you be taking action? And as always I'm trying to keep this quick, you can tell I'm talking fast. If you need any support, helping yourself figure out what it looks like. Like my client today, she was like, all right, I'm excited to talk today just to get my life organized, right? Like get my head on straight. As moms, like you carry a lot, you have a lot on your plate. And so if you need that space, like somebody to hold this space for you so that you have a hot minute to figure out what is going on up here so that you can show up in your life how you want to, reach out to me. You know, I'm here for you. Um, I love helping my clients just get that clarity, that perspective, that like little bit of sorting through all the crazy to realize, Oh, actually it's not that bad. I just got to do these things. And then I'll feel like I'm more on track or have the permission to let certain things go that are just aren't necessary in this season. Ah, oh, right. Like as a mom, I just feel like I do this to myself too. Sometimes where it's like, I want to do all the things you can do all the things you just need to, you can't always do them all at once unless you like your reasons and how it works, right? Like if you want to like have the business, have the, this, have the, that, like there are things that you need to build in to support yourself, right? Like whether you have like a housekeeper, whether you use a meal service, whether you, um, hire an employee, like whatever that might be for you, you got to figure out how to make this work, right? It's always this like give and take system. So I hope you have an awesome day. I hope this is super helpful for you. Um, you can also, you know, I have the healthy mom method assessment. Um, it's on the website. You can buy that. If you want something like more in depth where I'm actually asking you specific questions to help you identify in those four quadrants that are important in your life, what's going on and where you need to start, you know? Um, but this literally it's a piece of paper and some fun markers that you can figure out what is going on and then go from there. Talk to you later, friends.